Cisco umbrella policies let you set the level of protection, security, content access, and logging that are applied to each of your identities. We'll talk about adding a policy using your Cisco umbrella account on this edition of Tech Talks, next. First things first, we'll need to log into our Cisco Umbrella account. Then, from the dashboard, we'll navigate to All Policies under the Management section of the Policies tab and click Add. Now we can choose what identities we would like to protect using Cisco Umbrella. For this video, I'll choose Networks, then click Next. Now we'll pick what we'd like our policy to do. We can choose to enforce security at the DNS layer inspect files, limit content access, control applications, or apply destination lists. I'm gonna leave it as is and then hit next. On the security settings page, we can select categories for Cisco Umbrella to block. By default, malware, command and control callbacks, and phishing attacks are selected. Pick which categories you'd like to block, then click next. Now we can choose the level of content access we would like to allow our users. The higher the level, the higher the number of blocked categories. For this video, we'll leave it at high and click Next. On the Control Applications page, we can select which applications or application categories we'd like to block or allow for network users. I'll select Point to Point and Advance to Set Block Page Settings. Here, we can customize the block page that is displayed for users when their requested content has been blocked by Cisco Umbrella. Once we're happy with our settings, we can click Next to advance to the summary page. Here, we can give our policy a name, then save it using the Save button at the bottom of the page. That really is all it takes to configure policies on your Cisco Umbrella account. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.